This is my carpenter bee butter. And the reason I make my bee butter like this, real thick. The reason it needs to be thick like that, it needs to stay in the hole where the bees are. The reason I'm not afraid to touch it, the active ingredient in it is permethrin. Permethrin is used to treat children's head lice. It's used to dip your dog. It's a relatively safe pesticide. But mixing it like this, when you put it up in the bee hole, you see how it's stuck to my finger? It's gonna stay in there. Any carpenter bee that goes in the hole or comes out of the hole is gonna get this grease on it. So it actually turns every hole into a bee trap. You put this in the hole. Also the grease protects the permethrin. Permethrin, if you just spray permethrin out here, it's only gonna last about 14 days and then it's gonna break down. It's not gonna work anymore. But in this grease, it's gonna last all season. So it's gonna kill your bees all summer. We're gonna treat some bee holes and see how this permethrin knocks them out. All right, I'm treating these bee holes. You take the syringe and you put just a little bit of bee butter in each hole. And that bee butter is gonna stay in the hole. And we're gonna be seeing some bees drop out here in just a minute. <laughs> Be careful when you're doing this because those bees will fall on your head. I treated about half of this barn the other day. And Jason said he picked up over 160 dead bees in the hallway. This is the same syringe I was using the other day. It doesn't take much bee butter to treat a lot of holes. There's one that's just come out of the hole. They're falling all over the place. They're everywhere. We're really getting them now. Didn't take just a couple of minutes. You can really hear them up there in the wood going crazy. It's only been a matter of minutes. Really, this is just one little area. We're getting them. Good job. Okay. Now the whole barn floor is buzzing. This one little area. We can film them up close. I'm afraid to walk very far because they're going nuts. Just got them together right here in this little area. To we got them. It took about 15 minutes to do the work that he did in here for this barn. I'm just monkeying around up here on a ladder. Oh, good grief. I, I told you, I wasn't just up here monkeying around. I was getting rid of these carpenter bees. I'll tell you, any monkey can do this job. It's easy to use that bee butter. Is that right? Uh-huh. That's right. That's exactly right. Even a baboon could do a job like this. What do you think, Miss Kenya? We got all those bees killed? All right, well, people are flipping out over this new flip. People are flipping out over this new bee butter and Brian's bee traps. Flip. I'll tell you, after a hot day of killing bees, we need to cool off with a good cold drink. How you doing? Uh-huh. Is that good? Uh-huh. Don't want to ever them bad bees because they might, they might, they might steal you and they might, they might eat you up. That's very good advice. Stay way away from the bees. <laughs>